G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today, we're going to have a look at another example of how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. So we're gonna use this example right here. We have two equations. The first equation we have, x plus three y is equal to 11. The second equation, three x plus two y is equal to 19. Now we're gonna solve these using the elimination method. What we're gonna try and do for both the equations here is match the coefficients in front of the same variable. Bit of a mouthful, I'll show you what this means. So as you can see here, we have the variable x. It has the coefficient of one here. You can't see that, but that's what that means. One and it has three, they don't match. And for y, the variable y, we have three y and two y, they don't match. But we can go through and we can multiply entire equations to make these coefficients match. So if we have a look at the x here, we have x and three x. How much do you need to multiply one by to get three? And you can say, well, we need to multiply that by three. So we're gonna make the x variables match by multiplying this entire equation by three. So let's do that and get a new equation one. So we have x multiplied by three. This gives us three x. This is plus three y times three, which is equal to nine y. And this is equal to 11 times three, which is equal to 33. And as you can see now, we have this slightly altered equation one where we have the coefficients in front of x matching that for equation two. So cool, we can now do a bit of elimination. And what that means is we're going to take one equation off the other and eliminate a variable. We're gonna eliminate these values of x here. So I have a look at the y here. You can see this y here has a larger coefficient for equation one, now for equation two. So I'm gonna take equation two off equation one. That is equation one minus equation two. So let's do that. So first off we have three X minus three X. Well, that's gonna be the elimination part, right? We get nothing. Now we move across to the Y's. We have nine Y take away two Y. This gives us seven Y. And this is equal to 33 take away 19. That gives us a value of 14. And therefore we can now solve this really simply because if seven y is equal to 14, well, y is going to be equal to two. So there you go, we've got our first variable solved that y is equal to two. I'll put a little circle around that just so we can see that. Now, the way that we solve the second variable for x is we just substitute the value of y into one of the equations. So let's have a look first off at this top one here. We have x plus three y is equal to 11. I'm gonna write that down again. We have x, plus three y is equal to 11. Let's substitute y equals two into that equation. So we're gonna end up with x is plus three times y, three times two is equal to six, and this is equal to 11. So what do you add to six to get 11? Well, this means that x is equal to five, okay? So x is equal to five. Once again, I'm gonna put a nice circle around that because now we have the values of y and x. We've solved our simultaneous equations. But one last step, which you don't have to do, but it's worth doing if you want to. We're just going to substitute our x and y values in to the second equation just to check that we got the correct answer. So let's do that. We have 3x plus 2y is equal to 19. So let's substitute in. x is equal to 5. 5 times 3 is equal to 15 plus well, y is equal to two. Two times two is equal to four. So this is equal to 19. 15 plus four is equal to 19. There you go. It's done, it's checked, it's all good. We have the correct answer. And there you have it, a second example of how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. Now, if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. All that really, really fun, helpful stuff to us content creators. And you may consider becoming a patron, you know, search that around, you'll see how to do that. If you want to look in the description, there will be more examples of how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.